1989 Michael Jackson year in review. So yeah, without further ado guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video. So let's get it. It's been about three months now since Michael asked me to announce that he really is serious about not doing any more concert tours by the time he finishes the last show of his record-breaking world tour last weekend at the sports arena. Hmm. Being out drained and exhausted he gets from what he gives on stage at every one of the 123 shows he's played to four and a half million people during the past year and a half, Michael's decision is more understandable. Michael says his new focus will be performances he can preserve, recordings and movies mainly, like Moonwalker, already the biggest selling musical tape in home video history. You've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. But still, nobody nowadays does live performance better than Michael Jackson. As Michael Jackson was taking his last bow, ending what could have been the last live concert of his life. Love you, California! Aren't you going to miss this kind of thing, that energy? The, the audience is going crazy out there. How are you going to stay away from it? I don't know. It is my last one. Are you, are you really never going to do another one? No. Okay. Thank you. You're lying. <laughs> I like that guy. I, I like, I like him. him. To him, ladies and gentlemen, I like, I Michael like him. Jackson. <laughs> He's pants. Thank you very much, Eddie Murphy. Could you lift that up, please? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Eddie, I need your help. It ain't working. Go like, bend down. <laughs> he said, pull it up like I was working for him. <laughs> and I started to do it too. I was like, yes, Mike. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> First, I'd like to thank um, God who makes all things possible. I'd like to thank my mother and father, Catherine and Joseph Jackson, Larry Stesso, Glenn Brunman, Frank DeLeo, Quincy Jones, and Bruce Wadin. I love you. And the public, thank you. gentlemen, the 1989 Heritage Award, and in my estimation, the true king of pop, rock, and soul, Mr. Michael Jackson. First, I'd like to thank God who makes all things possible. I thank Bill Bray, John Branca, the Epic family, Walter Yetnikoff, and Larry Stesso and Glenn Brunman. I love you. Thank you very much. The nominees for Best R&B Urban Contemporary Single by a Male are for the Best R&B Urban Contemporary oh Music God. Video, Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Man in the Mirror, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson!
Man in the Mirror, Michael Jackson. Um, thank you again. I want to thank um, the entire public. I want to thank everybody who worked on these wonderful projects. I'd like to thank you, the public. Thank you very much. I love you. This album marks the 25th anniversary of the Jacksons' first performance in Gary, Indiana. And the entire family had a hand in its production, including all of the children. Has there ever been a time when you've had to say, forget all the success, the money, the celebrity, and remember that we are just family? Yes, there, there have been many times when uh, situations like that come about. And what's important to us is the fact that we had each other be, before success. No matter how far we go as far as success or uh, in the situation in this family, you have different members who have different heights of, of success and still but what started it all with was the Jacksons. If you are Michael Jackson, you cannot walk around in public. You'll be mobbed. But sometimes even Jackson mm. wants to go shopping, so he wears a disguise. And that's exactly what he did when he went into this shopping mall in well, Sioux Valley, to be California. Hit? The sales clerk at Zales noticed a suspicious character who seemed to be wearing a disguise. <laughs> Tell me what you thought about this whole thing. It must have been pretty funny out there having Michael Jackson. It was funny, but it was also a little bit frightening. I mean, if he would have been wearing his glove, we would have known who he was. How old were you when you first knew you had AIDS? 30. Oh, that's when, it, yeah, because I remember seeing that on the television. Mm -hmm. And these people in this new town, how are they treating you? Great. They really accepted me with open arms. Just treat me like I was any other person there. Mm. Perseverance and your will to want to live is one of the things that have, you know, yeah. made you survive so long when so many other AIDS patients have died. I try to think, you know, I don't know what I want to do when I'm getting when I get out. Yeah, so, so you're saying your mind has a lot to do with your health. That's everything. That's, that's great inspiration for a lot of sick people to know that. Is this a Mustang? Yeah, it's a funny car, like. This one looks like it's like a racer one. What? Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be part of uh, the LA Gear Magic, and I hope we have a very rewarding, successful career. Thank you. this plaque to you on behalf of the parents and faculty, past and present, of Gardner School as a token of our respect and our love for you, not only as a performer, but as a fine human being. Wow. <laughs> I am deeply touched and honored that the PTA principal and faculty members and students have been so kind as to dedicate the auditorium where I sat as a child in my honor. <laughs> we must all never forget that the children are our future, and without them, mankind would become extinct. This look is so iconic were fondly remembered last night by people that you and I know as stars, but to Sonny Davis Jr., they're just fun. I love them. And we are here for all to see. And we are here to be the best that we can be. Yes, I am here.
half his idol. <laughs> Your band don't know that song, do they? No, don't, don't you play a note of it. <laughs> We're gonna play party all the time. <laughs> It just pops up out of nowhere. I guess you didn't know. We, we, uh, we have something that we'd like to present to Eddie, and I'll let Michael tell you the rest. Presented to the king of comedy, Eddie Murphy, the greatest comedian of all time, the king. I didn't know he said all of this. I mean, I'm not disputing it. We got to give you this. Wait, one minute. Just wait, right there. Wait, okay. That's why he loved Michael so much. Why is he trying to be all smooth and shit? How about Eddie Murphy? <laughs> MTV sent this over. I don't know if you know about this, but. The Viewers uh, Award for Michael Jackson for the greatest video in the history of all videos, Thriller. That's you know, like, I, I'm in this business, but that's one yeah, person when he's around, I'm yeah, still I like, know what to say now. It's like, you, know, <laughs> you want to go home now. It's like, yeah. the, the show is over. Boy, I'm still like, you know. I'm still shaking. <laughs> like a couple of fangirls. <laughs> Trying to play it smooth, I see you. So while the rest of us grew 10 years older in the 80s, Michael Jackson seemed to remain just about what he had always been. Talented, unorthodox, <laughs> elusive, childlike, consummate showman, wonderful singer, dazzling dancer, the most important entertainer of the decade. <laughs> Jackson has sold $625 million in records alone for the 1980s. If you figure in concerts, merchandise, and other holdings, a good guess would put him over a billion dollars. Oh, I've never seen one of the details videos just in like that. It must, something must have got copyrighted if they had to take it out. But yeah, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next reaction video.